Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rahma and for today's video, it's not really much of a video but like I'm just coming on here really quickly to give you guys the fastest way that you can get a publication. And the reason is because most of us want to work on having a good and strong CV uh, to get accepted into the US for a US residency and we know that they want some research now that they've canceled uh, step two and uh, the step two uh, CS and all of these things. All of these changes were meant to make a more holistic um, way of seeing who the resident applicants are and you want to build a strong CV to help convince them that you know I'm just as good as anyone else and I deserve to be in your program so research is really really important um, I just feel like people say the word research and they don't really give any tips or real advice on how you can do it so I'm gonna give you guys a foolproof way right now if you want to do it uh, to get yourself published okay there is a lot of information on COVID-19 right now and the easiest way for you to publish if you want to do it solo and you want to work with somebody that's up to you but if you just want to sit down on your computer spend a couple of hours to write your review uh, and you want to get that published that is something that you can do and it's needed and there's a lot of demand for it right now so if you are interested keep listening uh, and please like subscribe to this channel if you're interested or share this video with other people what I'm gonna tell you is my method of how I get published okay right now there is a lot of information on COVID okay it's the topic it's been the topic for the past two years so there's a lot of information out there what isn't there is people who are willing to sit down and go through the trouble of collecting that information grouping it together and making a literature review you can do your literature review from your computer at home you can do it with a small team but please make sure that you're working with people who are just as dedicated um, and are very serious like yourself and want to get this opportunity and at least build their CV in some way right you want to have something on your CV rather than nothing and having a review is better than having nothing okay so um, find yourself a small team if you want to do it with a team or you can do it solo if you want to unless you have, and I would recommend this only if you know what you're doing or you've had a mentor or you have a mentor that you can look up to who can give you some trustworthy advice there's a lot of things in the way but it's definitely feasible that you can do this so make a review on a COVID topic that's the hot stuff right now okay there is literally sections dedicated in journals on COVID-19 and they have something called a fast track publication so if your topic is a COVID topic when you come to submit your manuscript you're going to select that it's COVID so that they know to quickly send it off to reviewers or to quickly give you a decision so you're gonna know uh, if your work is gonna get published or not or you can send to another journal so first of all it's the hot topic that's what you want so pick yourself a COVID topic okay if you are say there's something that you're interested in like there's a particular residency that you're interested in like pediatrics for example or obstetrics and gynecology you can write a paper on that within the COVID uh, topic overall okay so we can say things like how did um, COVID-19 affect maternal healthcare services for example how did COVID-19 affect whatever so you can do that right pick, pick it within the topic that you are interested in uh, and write a review now how do you write a review uh, I can go on for the, forever on this but really it comes down to your thinking and how you're going to organize your stuff if you have about four to five major points that you want to discuss then you have a review okay if you have four or five major points or major things that you want to discuss like how did COVID-19 affect how we treat um, how did it impact HIV patients for example um, did it affect how they responded to the vaccine did it affect the services that are provided for them did it uh, increase any stigma around them anything like that so if you have four to five points for something first sit down and brainstorm everything get yourself four to five points and one thing to make your paper really excellent and this is my advice to you is also have another section on application okay it's not just about thinking it's about understanding what is the impact and how to apply how to apply how do we apply what it is that you're trying to say okay so you can see that in some of my work and I will link some of my work down below if you have an exemplar please use an exemplar for writing your work you want to look up to another paper that you think is really well written okay and use that to kind of guide how it is that you're going to write your your work it doesn't necessarily have to be on the same topic so you can use some of my work if you want to use it as an exemplar and I will show you both of my works one of them was published in an Egyptian journal and one of them was published in an international journal you can use these works two of them actually to understand what I mean by three or four or five points 
that you're trying to make and kind of at the end of it hammer everything together and say what exactly is your impact or what is the application of what it is that you're trying to say what's the message that you're trying to send out here so like I said with COVID-19 you have a lot of topics you have a lot of information but there's very few people who are currently sitting down and you know just doing the the heavy duty work of trying to collect all that information right I want to read a paper right now on COVID-19 I want to read something that collects all the information on whether or not hydroxychloroquine is effective for this uh, pandemic whether or not ivermectin is effective or not I can read one or two three original papers but if you have a nice review that's collecting everything together that's fantastic so you can do something like that straight from your computer if you know how to organize your mind research is about how you think okay it's about thinking it's not about just the manual nitty-gritty of it anybody can write a paragraph it's about how you organize that how you make it unique how things are flowing together what is the message that you're trying to make so you can do a review like I said from your home or you can do it with a couple of people or you can do it with a mentor I really don't recommend going in alone unless you're super confident and you're semi crazy like myself uh, and you sent out your work to the, as a student and just tried it out um, by sheer luck and it worked um, so there is that uh, so I can also give you guys a couple of links for a couple of things that you can try which can improve your scientific writing uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube look at how to write a literature review just YouTube that and you're gonna find a lot of information about this it's the same basic principles right but like I said always have a nice exemplar with you uh, something you can look up to and see how to really organize your work based on what it is the topic that you are focused on and uh, again like I said if you have a mentor it's nice because when you do get to the point where you have a manuscript that's ready and you want to send it out you might run into a couple of problems like how to pick a journal um, how to stay away from predatory journals are you gonna send to something you want to pay for is it something that's for free like I said if it's your first time sending out a paper I do recommend using any of the journals that are in the Egyptian Knowledge Bank it's not a guarantee that you're gonna get accepted by any means but I just think it's a good place to start my recommendation for you is to look at some of those journals and if you're not interested in that at least don't sway from either Elsevier journals or Springer journals because typically those guys are safe they're not gonna be predatory although there might be but we're not gonna get into that discussion um, just like you want to go with something like a main publisher, they're not going to scam you, they're not going to steal your work, they're not going to hold it hostage until you give me money. Again, like I've said, I've mentioned in a couple of videos before, there's a dark side to research that many people don't know about, so you want to sway, like get away from that, because that can discourage you a lot if, you, if it's your first time trying research and that's the first thing you run into is a predatory journal. That's going to be a problem for you and your esteem in this area, okay? So pick a safe journal, Springer, Elsevier, COVID topic, gather it all together in a nice, concise, interesting way. Get yourself, um, you know, a nice figure or a nice table, a couple of them that you can add, add some maps, things like that to make it really nice, and then send it off. There's no guarantee you're going to get published, but you might. Right, that's the thing, you might get published, so try it. You might get a rejection, everyone goes through a rejection. I go through at least two, three, four rejections before I get accepted, this is normal, okay? So don't be dissuaded, you're gonna see some rejections, you're gonna see some remarks from a reviewer that you don't like. You might see remarks that are constructive and they're gonna say, hey, can you at least adjust a little bit here? And then you do that and you might get an acceptance. So that's what you want, you want to get an accepted paper, a publication sent to an Egyptian journal, sent to an international journal. Again, don't sway from Elsevier or uh, Springer journals. That's my recommendation to you. Uh, and you can do this and try this formula of COVID-related papers right now because that's all the hot stuff right now. Nobody's, there are no reviewers on anything else right now. Um, well, I have like a paper that's been with an editor for two months and he can't find a reviewer because it's not COVID related. So that's the issue right now that we're dealing with. So if it's COVID, the journal's interested in it and so is the rest of society. So take advantage of this right now. If you want to publish, you can do it on your own, okay? Uh, you don't need anybody. You can do it with a small team of people that you trust or you can do it with a mentor. But if you're flying solo, you can definitely do it solo. And if you guys have any other questions about research, I'm happy to answer them. Just feel free to comment or something and I'll get to it. I'm super busy these days, but I'll do my best. Um, and best of luck. And really, just go for it. If there's a will, there's a way. Just don't forget that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.